Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Mapsid. So in this uh, video, I will uh, demonstrate the latest features added to Django Software Dashboard, which is a popular open source uh, Django starter provided by Mapsid. So uh, the product now comes with an API generator and also with um, a dynamic data table uh, module. Um, both might help you to um, uh, code faster your project. The first one, the API generator, will build automatically using the CLI, uh, an API based on your model definition. So you basically just need to uh, define your model, update a little bit the configuration, and uh, the API is automatically generated for you. The second um, feature is the um, dynamic data table that works approximately in the same way that uh, you um, uh, a data table layout is automatically exposed uh, on top of uh, your existing model using the the common uh, common feature for data table like edit delete uh, uh, pagination search and uh, export let's take a look at the at the product and uh, visualize the features so I will access the public repository and uh, clone the source code here in my environment. Oh, okay, now the product is, is downloaded. I will use uh, VS Code to open up the, the sources and uh, play with the code. So I will not doing much, uh, just I will follow up the instructions provided in the readme file. I will increase the font just to make it uh, more visible to the audience. So basically I will start the project without coding anything using the Docker Composer app command and once the product is up and running we should have a usable API and also a usable data table based on the definition of this model saved here in the in the models file later I will update the, the model and uh, rebuild the, the application in docker and we should uh, see the uh, the new changes in the in the product automatically without coding anything so now the product is up and running I will access the application in the browser and uh, check out the, the UI let's create a new user test user is created successfully let's sign out sign in fact and uh, access the, the service now uh, we can see here in the API view the generated API so we have a usable API and also here on the dynamic data tables we can see that the books model is automatically built uh, we have here the ID and name which is basically this definition the name is here and the ID is automatically added by uh, by Django let's uh, add some rows here book one I will add one more book two so I have two books you have here unusable search the, the information is filtered you can also export the information in uh, various formats right here it's uh, book one okay if in case you want to have all the information you need to re-export uh, the table so we have an API here if we refresh the page we have two books 
we have the data table automatically built for us. Let's delete a row, refresh the 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 um, DRF UI, and all works as as expected. Okay, let's stop the product, update the model here. Let's uh, add a new a new field. Let's say info. Save the save the definition and rerun the docker setup i will kill the the previous container and now start the product again so basically what i just did is to uh, update the model and add the new field because uh, my application needs also an info field for the books model and uh, now we should way to uh, the docker setup to build all, all things for us so the generator api scans the new definitions and we should be able to uh, access the new drf interface and also data tables updated okay we need to recreate again the the user I hope I was okay. Let's authenticate all the credentials. Sorry, what? Come on, guys. Yeah caps lock was enabled oh sorry let's sign out again test two test two i will copy paste the one two copy paste the password okay So now we're in, sorry for the delay. We can access, of course, the, the API view and uh, we can see that the API is up and running. And let's uh, access the um, dynamic data tables. We can see now the info is presented here. I didn't change any anything on the code base. So um, the application automatically detects the changes and um, build the, the, the books, the data table without any change in the code. Let's um, book one, a great book. Okay, I will add a new book to um, whatever book Harry Potter okay now we have three uh, three fields here of course the search is usable the information is is filtered if we put here one only the book one is selected uh, we can export in PDF and also the, um, the API is automatically updated to support the new interface. So we can see here that the, um, uh, the fields, the new fields are present. So guys, uh, the product will be updated with more uh, generic patterns. Uh, basically using the product, you can um, build automatically APIs and also uh, without much effort uh, build uh, data tables that comes with server-side pagination super helpful in uh, when you have to manage large amounts of data you can also export the information in different formats like CSV, CLS and PDF without much effort 
uh, the API it's automatically uh, it's automatically built. Uh, you can access the information uh, using the using the app. Uh, let me uh, use here the API view. So you have here a component that manages the the information uh, through the API using this simple interface. You can you can update here the information. Of course, the information is is updated. We can see the the changes reflected in the data tables, and also the um, uh, we can add new items here. Okay, so the new fields is not uh, injecting the into this view. Let's delete some rows. So all looks all uh, works as expected. So guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Mapsid. In case anyone needs a um, uh, usable API in less than two or three minutes, uh, feel free to use the product. In case you have issues, um, uh, chat with us on Discord. We are 24-7 on, uh, on Discord and also replying to all the emails. Let us know what you think. The product um, is uh, scheduled for other updates like uh, Stripe payments and uh, asynchronous tasks. So um, we will provide more features on top of the existing code base. Thanks for watching. Adrian here from uh, from Epsid, and uh, as always, I wish you all a super super day. Bye.